Start a new life in the enchanting town of Portia. Restore your father's neglected workshop to its former glory by fulfilling commissions, growing crops, raising animals, and befriending the quirky inhabitants of the charming post-apocalyptic land. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and today I'm doing a review on my time at Porsche. This game is actually made by Chinese developers and I have to say that you know considering that it was Chinese developers I usually you know expected that they're gonna make like a copy of another game like MOBAs, like League of Legends, you know, to um, Mobile Legends or some mobile game overall but this kind of surprised me so my time at Porsche it's kind of a crafting game I mean it has more more things to do as I said you can raise animals and you can plant your own crops but mainly it's focused on crafting it has its own story and its own world, people, and even history. It's full of interesting characters, secret minds to explore, and all kinds of different items that you can craft. You arrive at Portia, and you want to become a craftsman, like your father. You have your own home, which was owned by your father, and um, you come there and you explore the world and the caves where you can mine, and I don't know, you can get iron, iron and copper and other th other things including also a broken CD I guess uh, which is kind of a mystery to this world because this world is like a post-apocalyptic so people from this world don't know about our world like we are the past so um, even though it's a you know crafting game many people dislike that kind of a thing but in my opinion it's very interesting how you're crafting and there's so many variation and options and uh, so many different items that it's really fun to make uh, new stuff and build things like bridges and even I think even a small car you can make a bit later you have like a guidebook that you can open and you can basically uh, look for the parts and then you can m make separately uh, the like this, like a civil cutter or I don't know, like uh, other items that can m produce with some items, uh, special items that you want for your sort, so to say, recipe. You know, for for something you want to build. The graphics in this game. Um, are very cartoony like and the soundtrack I think it really fits with the environment uh, the I think lots of things were inspired uh, by breath of the wild like like when you're running it's like the same circle it's similar but it's not like but I think it drew a bit of inspiration from a uh, from artistic perspective so to say everything you do in the game uh, will give you experience and with those points once you upgrade you up you, your character once the level upgrades you can use the points to upgrade your character and there's uh, lots of it's like a skill tree w in which you can like upgrade your stamina or your health or your mining skills and so so uh, there's a lot of things to be done here there are even boss fights which aren't really Mm, not really good to mention because they aren't really good because the boss is not really smart it's really easy to defeat it and um, you know there are many other activities to do you know uh, like fishing for example and it's it's similar also to other farming games like Stardew Valley or Harvest Moon because it also has like a calendar and people's activities and their birthdays and and main uh, events and many mini games and uh, sparring with other people and talking and all kinds of all kinds of stuff uh, I think it's not like the best crafting game that I ever played but it most certainly is very enjoyable and interesting to play um, and I think a sequel is coming out this year 
for PlayStation and I think maybe also for PC and Nintendo. I'm not, I'm not sure for Xbox, but I'm I'm gonna look forward for that. So um, I think for its price and it's pretty cheap. It's not expensive. I mean, only if you're into this kind of a game. I can tell you my experience. I can tell you what I you know think honestly. I think that like for example, Stardew Valley. Uh, held me much longer than this game because this game is focusing maybe way too much on crafting where Stardew Valley for example is focusing on everything like there's like a uh, hundred fishes at least or something like that and like just for fishing and or if you want you know crafting or farming and all kinds of stuff like but here is just mainly on crafting and for me that's fine and it's fine experience it's very interesting but I think in my opinion that uh, it's not something that will hold me for a very very long time it's an interesting game it it's beautiful game it has a very nice art style and it has also a character creation when you start the game but I think uh, that you know, I, it kept me for maybe 10 to 15 hours, which is fine. It didn't keep me play longer. Uh, it has a, its own story. And um, for its price, I think it's justifiable. And I think it is definitely worth buying. And you should definitely check it out. If you, if you, uh, you know, think this game is cool and you want to try it out, go ahead. That will be all for me. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. And... Um, I'll see you on next Wednesday, guys. Until then.